Hi guys and welcome to part 8 of Angular with Firebase application tutorials. On the last part we created our routes and configured them. On this part we are going to create the navigation bar and make necessary changes to show the data of the active component. For the navigation bar we have created a separate component, so let's go to that component and make there the changes. The navigation bar component can be found within the components navigation bar navbar go to navbar.component.html what we are going to do first in here is that we are going to see that this is a navigation bar and here you need to decorate it with two classes which are the navbar and navbar default and then inside the navigation bar create a div which is decorated with the container fluid class inside here we are going to put everything that we need for our navigation bar so we are going to start by putting the name of our application the book notes then let's create an, an ordered list and this order list we have list items for each of our urls and the first url is going to be the home the other one is going to be the books that we are going to use to show all the books and the last one is going to be add a book now for this list items to be clickable we need to put them we need to put the text inside an a tag and let's put everything inside what we want to do in here is that we want to redirect the user to a certain component when we click one of these links so for example when he clicks the books link then he will be redirected to the books component so to redirect the user to a component we are going to use the directives and the directive that we are going to use in this case is the router link and we are going to say that when we click this one the router link is going to be books so what this basically does is that once the user clicks the books url he is going to be redirected to a route where as a path has the books and if we go to the app.module.ts the books path belongs to the books component so the user clicks this link the routing that we configured on the previous part will check for the books path on our app routes that we configured in here and the books path belongs to the books component so this component will be rendered in our view and for home we are going to do the same but the router link for the home is going to be just an empty string and if we go to our app.module.ts file we see that empty routes are handled by the home component and the last one in here is the add book link and the router link for the add book is going to be add book so if you go to our app module we are going to see here that add book is handled by the add book component so let's save the changes and we see that the application was compiled successfully now after we have written the code we need to go to the component that is going to be used to start the application and we have configured that our starting component is going to be the app component.ts file to make the changes in here go to app component.html and at the top we are going to use the selector for the navigation bar to display the navigation bar and the selector for the navigation bar is app navigation bar so open a tag and close the tag so until now we simply show the html that we have written on the navigation bar dot component dot html and if we go to our browser we are going to see that these three links are shown in here we see that the url changes but the data is not shown the data is not being shown because we have not declared where to show the data so to show the data that comes from the component just below the app navigation bar tag add another one which is a router outlet tag and this tag in here serves as a placeholder to show the data coming from the routing components so after you save the changes go back to the browser and in here you are going to see that when you go to the home component the data for the home component are going to be shown when you go to the books the books the books component is going to be shown and when you go to the add book the add book is going to be shown the application works but it does not look nice for the navigation bar i have used bootstrap so for that you just need to go to the index.html file and at the top in here just paste this link we see in here that the design changed a little bit but we still have this 
bullets in front of our navigation items. So for that, go to the navigation bar CSS file, and that's in here, navbar.component.css, and we need to add some custom CSS. So we say that for each list item, remove the style. Go back to browser and we see that the bullets are going to be removed, but still the navigation bar items are not aligned horizontally. To align them horizontally, go to our navigation bar navbar.component.html on the navigation bar on the ul tag decorate it with two new classes which are the nav and navbar-nav before we check our browser let us decorate the book notes with a router link as well and now let's go back to the browser here we are going to see that everything works as expected so guys this is all for this part on the next part, we are going to configure the material design because that's the framework that we are going to use to design our application. So guys, thank you for watching and see you on the next part.